Have y'all seen this? Let alone how incredibly effective this is. This is so wild. It's not a face mask. This is so shameful. This is so shameful. Like, <laughs> the level of disgust I have in my face for some stuff like this, especially because it's clear that there was a whole parent standing right there watching her daughter do this and she didn't do nothing at all. This is so wild. It's not a face mask. So this is so shameful. This is so shameful. Like, <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, you took off running because you knew good and damn well your young ass ain't have no business putting that on your face. I don't care how innocent they try to make these kids out to seem. They're just playing. They're just playing in makeup. They're just playing around. No, uh-uh. You know good and well what you're doing. You know that you're trying to be smart. You know that you're trying to be funny and you know that you are being that R word that I ain't trying to get canceled for on this little YouTube app, okay? Anyway, what's up my friends and welcome back once again to the Jess Case and Ren. I'm your homegirl, I'm your prima, I'm your tia. First and foremost, I am a mother and if you're a mom and you're tuning in, girl, I need you to comment. If you're a parent, I need you to comment down below. What the hell is going on with this generation of parenting? Is it just me or does it seem like parents are so concerned with being on the same level as their child, they ain't even raising them. They ain't even training them up in the way that they should go. These new kids, these new kids is running teachers out the schools. Running teachers out the schools. Let me tell you something. When my son was acting crazy at school, I was down at that school all the time. I'm a real parent. I believe in really sacrificing yourself in order to be there for your child because they don't have nobody else. Those people at the schools, especially for kids who are black, brown, and of color, them people at the school are just waiting to, to start a record on them of misbehaving, not listening. That carries on into high school. They get in trouble in high school doing something real small, maybe get picked up or something by a, a little a juvenile cop. Now they got a record from the high school saying he always been misbehaving since elementary and middle school. Mm -mm. See, that's why I, I believe in being really right there and really there for your kid and you being their teacher. Uh, school is just a damn supplement. It is not the end all be all. As you can see, this this kind of thing gets me real riled up. Now, Sephora released a statement apologizing for the kids, but said basically, "Well, we didn't we didn't know that the kids was in here doing that. We don't we don't encourage no blackface. <laughs> what we seen on TikTok was the hashtag kids at Sephora. So I got on I got on TikTok just to see what the hashtag was about because I know something about Sephora. Um, that makeup is not cheap. That makeup is not costume makeup. That makeup is not, I don't even shop at Sephora for my makeup. You feel me? I go to CVS and I use my coupons. I don't, I don't do all that extra shit with paying high end prices for makeup. I, I don't need it, okay? I don't need it. So I even know Sephora is high. What the hell are kids doing inside of Sephora? I asked what? the worker if they have anything similar and a nice shimmery lip gloss that is clear. What? This will, what? this will mean a lot to me. No, bro, you're not gonna get me. This is not work. It actually will. Has become the new Claire's. There's a bunch of ten-year-olds running around fiending for a drunk elephant and like looking for rare beauty as if Selena Gomez is in the building. And let me tell you, I have a story for you. These ten-year-olds are crazy. Like literally the most feral. I was a camp counselor. The Sephora kids are different than any type of kids. First of all, whatever did happen to Claire's? Because I catch myself going into Claire's sometimes when I want a pair of cheap earrings or like a red. Ten year olds are ruining makeup stores. Lately, Sephora employees have been complaining on TikTok that every time they work a shift, the majority of customers are children under the age of 13 that have no manners. They go up to the sample section and quite literally destroy everything and make a huge mess that they don't even bother cleaning up. In fact, some workers are saying that the kids will open up packaged products from a 
set just to take one or two items, thus resulting in the store losing hundreds if not thousands of dollars worth of product. Always when the groups of kids come into the store that we then find all of the empty Summer Fridays boxes. As a result, some Sephora locations are allegedly removing testers entirely because it's not worth them if the kids are just gonna ruin it and not purchase anything. And it's not like they can ban 10 year olds from coming into their store. Not to mention people in the comments section were saying things like when they were 10 years old, they were playing with Barbies and watching Rugrats. Meanwhile, nowadays they're putting on a full face of makeup and are wanting to grow up faster and faster. I'm in Sephora right now and I'm gonna count how many 10 year olds I see. One, two, three, currently walking past a 10 year old getting her eyebrows done. Four, five, six, there's a whole group of them over here. Seven, eight, there's a group of 10 year old boys in here now and they're fucking around with the lipstick. 10, 11, 12, excuse me, sorry. Sorry. They literally were sticking their fucking fingers in the lipstick. I'm over this. Can't even approach the drunk elephant counter right now. It's the middle of a Thursday. Why aren't these kids in school? Who's, whose mom is buying them this? Go shop at Claire's. I'm in drunk elephant section in there. Where's the glow recipe? Um, it's over there in the back right corner. Can you show me? Yeah. Sorry guys, I just had to help Sorry, her. Sorry, where is the rare beauty blush? It's right here. What about happy? Do you have happy? We're all out of happy. That's a really popular shade. Why? It's a popular shade, like a lot of people get it. What about encourage? Um, have any what am I supposed to do with my gift cards then? Excuse me. Do you have the bronzing drops? Just a drops? second, I'm just helping her real quick. Um, do you have the bronzing drops though? We're like, all out of those. We have the goldie drops right there. No, but I want the bronzing drops. The we bronze ones! We don't have any more in stock, I'm sorry. You uh, what? Mom! This was one of the girls that attacked me. Like, that's, that's a child. I zoomed in so you could see better, like, that's not right. To my future girl, baby, I'm so sorry, but what you're not about to be having on is some sparkly lip gloss outside of the house. You know why? Because you're a damn kid. I'm all for little girls enjoying their little makeups, their dresses, their high heels, but I'm about it being appropriate. I'm about it being appropriate. Nah, you ain't about to wear the same shit you see me wearing. We ain't about to have matching outfits because if I have on a two-piece legging set, I'm not putting my daughter in no damn two-piece legging set. Now you might get a jogging suit. Yeah, get you a little Nike Tech jogger suit, girl. Uh-huh. Put you some beads or some barrettes in your hair. Oh, girl, yes. Oh, you can have a little Chanel purse. The kid kind. Yeah, the kid kind. Uh-huh. The kid kind that sometimes comes from city trans. That's what you can have because you're a kid. I'm all about kids being kids and taking little girls to Sephora and them even having the mindset to say, oh, I want to put on all of this makeup on my face to feel pretty. Where do you think they're getting that from? watching too much damn TV, being on social media too much and wanting to be like them girls. When the parents who are in the home need to be spending time with these girls, let them develop whatever they're into. STEM is a huge, huge thing for kids right now. Technology is a huge thing for kids right now. If I still had my son living here, I would be trying to encourage whatever creative talent I seen him in that was offline. You know what I'm saying? Reason being is because as the world turns and as people get more dependent on technology, you don't want your kid to be one of the followers. You want your kid to be a leader. You don't want them to be a follower. And that leadership, that that starts with you. You got to teach them that. Because this world, all they're going to teach them kids is how to follow whatever trend we set. This is how you follow it. And now we got these little girls in here trying to put on makeup. Real makeup. I'm all for kid makeup, but they trying to put on real makeup. This little girl asked for some lip shimmer. Then in the next one, this lady was in there talking about, look at all the 10 year olds in here. I'm trying to get through them to get some makeup, you know, the adult makeup. What? Excuse me? <laughs> and them girls coming up to the counter to uh, George, that's his name. I seen it on the bottom. I feel like I know him now. But to George, they going up there yelling at him, asking him, uh, demanding of little makeup that I don't even remember the name of. They demanded makeup from him and they are kids. And they, de they don't even know how to ask properly. They don't even know how to have uh, politeness to them, respect to them. You, even as a kid, you still need to respect authoritative figures. I don't care. You not speaking on my level. You're not speaking to me like we the same age, like you pay rent and I pay rent. No, no, hell no. We not on the same level, so you don't get to talk to me like we on the same level. Testers and buying retinol? Absolutely not. But what I did do is take my niece Nine and my daughter to what? Sephora and taught them how to appropriately interact with testers, as well <laughs> as talking about what their skin could benefit from, and it was not retinol. We grabbed sunscreen. No. Everybody loves to go to Sephora and try the fragrance walls. Yeah, so we talked about how do you try fragrance? You get a tester, spray it, 
do a sniff, oh, waft it, so wait a few minutes. We talked about what was not appropriate, and lip plumper was not on that list. Mm -hmm. Honestly, of course, these kids are walking around trashing testers. They spent so much time in lockdown, not able to interact with the public. I think this is definitely a learning opportunity for parents as well as other guardians to show how do you interact and how do you behave like a decent human being in stores when testers are involved. So these are the things that we got. Hand sanitizer, sunscreen, two different kinds of lip balm. And honestly, this was really fun and educational. Out of all the educational things you could teach your daughter and your niece how to do, you teach them how to shop for makeup, not how to shop for groceries, not how to pump their own gas, not how to count real money. You, you teach them how to buy makeup. So not even how to get tampons, not even about, you know, their menstruals and stuff like that. Cause you know, that's coming, that, that's on the way, regardless. Regardless if you got money or not, you got to buy you some tampons. You got to get yourself together when it comes to that feminine hygiene. So you, you don't want to teach them that. And then to me, even having to take kids in the store and be like, you don't act mean or you don't act bad to these people inside of here, okay? Inside here, no mean, mean, mean. Well, your kid don't know how to act appropriate. Your kid don't know how to have respect. Your kid don't know how to say please and thank you. So you gotta take them all the way into a fucking store to teach them in person how to do it? Oh, you shouldn't have had kids. You should have had uh, mixed breed puppies. That's what you should have had because they would have had personality problems. Any mixed breed puppy, we all know, they got they got uh, personality problems. If you pair a bulldog with a pit bull, that motherfucker gonna be crazy as hell. You're gonna have to put it down at about seven or eight years old. So that's what you need to get. You need to get you a pet, not a human. Because human beings need more than the training that you're trying to give. You're trying to give on the go TikTok training. That it don't work that way. No, I don't think y'all understand my level of excitement to finally see this stuff come out because every time I go in these stores, I am mind blown with the audacity of some of these kids. I have a two-year-old and a nine-year-old and I can promise you that if they even uttered a bit of that disrespect, I would lose my mind, my skin would literally crawl. I was so happy to see a mother say this, to say, oh, my kids ain't about to be all crazy disrespecting me or other people in public or embarrassing me. No, we ain't doing that. That made me so happy because I was like, okay, all hope is not lost because these next parents oh girl it's probably gonna make you a little irritated hi are you with the girls with the paint on their faces um so i think the white paint is okay but i think the black paint might be a little much i know i um i thought about that um there's an innocence in it and so i but i didn't think about that yeah so um I mean, and then I know there's other colors and stuff with it too. There's like fluorescent and other things. Oh, but yeah. I agree. With yeah, that. I might get a little, people might, but I think some people are getting a little offended yeah, for it. I get that. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. It's like, you don't want to kill a kid's spirit and you don't want to, like, you know, like. Does she pick that color? Yeah. She has, she has no, like, she has no, um, yeah. And that's why I said what I did earlier. These parents want to try to make it seem like the kids are so innocent and that they're not doing it on purpose. She literally had a black face and was eating chicken so nastily. What do you mean? She don't know what she's doing. She knows exactly what she's doing. And you know what she's doing. You just don't know how to own up to it. If, see, if your kids want to be like that, as parents, just say, what's wrong with their black face? That's, that's what you should say. That that man should have just said, what's wrong with, with her black face? Because you support it, obviously. You let her come out the house like that, even though you knew that it was wrong. You could have took the educational opportunity and moment, <laughs> as the flower power people love to use, you could have used that as an educational moment to let her know you cannot walk around with a black face, and here is why. Do you know the high history behind blackface? Now, due to the majority of our people being emotionally charged and automatically jumping to the issue of racism when they see blackface, what's often overlooked is why blackface is being used and what the blackface representation truly signifies in that particular instance. For example, this parade that's done over in Spain. Spain, annual blackface parade reflects the history of when black African Moors ruled over the Iberian Peninsula. Now, our people being emotionally charged won't look at what the people are actually wearing. For instance, look at the feathers on their heads. Those feathers are the same feathers that the so-called Shriners wear. Why is that? Nine times out of 10, whenever you see a Shriner with the feathers on, it always have a Moorish title on the feathers dressed in jewels. Who are they trying to represent? This symbol right here, it signifies the subjugation or the ruling over the Moorish woman, which is the head of the Moorish nation. That's why you see the scimitar over the crescent and the moon. The crescent and the moon is the mother and the son. 
You subjugate the mother, you subjugate the son. The condition of the mother is the condition of the child. In this photo, you see some angry Europeans mad because they used to do the Mummers Parade in Philadelphia in blackface. So look at the signs. They were angry because it's a tradition for them. So you have to ask yourself, why were they using blackface in Philadelphia in the Mummers Parade in the first place? Well, let's read about it. Through sin and disobedience, every nation has suffered slavery due to the fact that they honor not the creed and principles of their forefathers. This is why the nationality of the Moors was taken away from them in 1774, and the word Negro, black, and color was given to the Asiatics of America, who were of Moorish descent, because they honored not the principles of their mothers and fathers and strayed out to the gods of Europe, of whom they knew nothing. Now, if you're wondering why I read that bit, is because you have to pay attention to 1774 and connect the dots. Because in 1774, that is when they had the first Continental Congress, which happened in what city? The city of brotherly love, AKA Philadelphia. Now the chairman of the Continental Congress was no other than this guy. Does he look familiar? He's documented saying this, if we would agree to take the feathers and turbans off the Moors' head and remove the sandals from their feet and enforce it with severe punishment and also swear a death oath between ourselves to religiously and faithfully not allow anyone to teach the Moors' children whom they really are or who their forefathers were and only allow the Moors' children to be taught that they were truly Negroes, black people, and colored folks. That's hidden history they don't tell you about, but all that's being represented in the Mummers Parade when they used to do it in blackface. They do it in Philadelphia because that's where the Continental Congress took place and that's where we lost our birthright names and nationality. I just want to remind some of y'all that your favorite rapper did this. <laughs> hey, y'all still support Gucci. It always seems like when it comes to art history, the very thing they try and do is water it down, make it seem as if it's worth nothing, as if it's just a piece of shit that they could just continue to play with in our faces, as if we aren't the smartest people, as if we don't make the world go round, as if we didn't come over here to America and build all that it is. I, it was sickening to see these teams do this. It was very sickening to see them do this. It, it's a, it's just a true reflection of how our country is today. We're not never going to be um, people who all get along. I don't think flower people are ever gonna get along with black and brown. I don't think they'll ever respect us. They'll never understand our plight. They'll never understand how hard we have to fight in order to overcome the obstacles that are thrown our way every single day based on systemic racism. They will never get it, ever get it. And they will always have somewhat of an upper hand in their brain. They'll always have somewhat of an upper hand because they're not our color. <laughs> ridiculous comment down below what you think about this whole ordeal i would love to hear your thoughts i have been the just case and brand i'm so glad you tuned in make sure to like comment down below what you think about this situation about the teens of today about the children of today about the parenting of today make sure you subscribe to the channel and please share this video with a friend so thankful that you came by and i will see you in the next video Bye bye